Hi learners, welcome to Reading with Mrs Evans. Um, today's story is a favourite of lots of the kids in my class. Well actually it's an extension of one of their favourites because they all love Harry McClary. Um, and today's one by Lily Dodd is Harry McClary's Bone. Let's see what happens. Harry McClary's Bone by Lindley Dodd. Down in the town by the butcher's shop sat Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. Out of the door came Samuel Stone. He gave Harry McClary his tastiest bone. Look at the size of that bone. Yum. For dogs. Then off up the street on scurrying feet on his way to the dairy went Harry McClary. I love the rhyme in this story. It's always fun. And chasing him home with their eyes on the bone went Hercules Morse, Bottomley Potts, Muffin McClay, Bits of Maloney and Schnitzel Von Crumb with the very low tum. Hungrily sniffing and licking their chops, they followed him up past the school and the shops. They came to the sign selling Sutherland sauce. Through they all went. Except Hercules Morse. I don't think it can fit. Oh dear. They came to a hedge along Waterloo Way. Under they went. Except Muffin McClay. Also didn't fit. They came to a yard full of dinghies and yachts. Round they all went. Except Bottomley Pots. I notice how Pots rhymes or sounds like it rhymes with yachts, but they're spelt very differently. They came to a building site, cluttered and stony. Over they went. Except bits of Maloney. Got stuck in the bricks. Oh dear. I'm sure they went back to help him. They came to a wall by the house of Miss Plum. One of them jumped. But not Schnitzel von Crumb. Oh dear, his legs won't help him, will they? I know how he feels. Mrs Evans is short too. So at last he was free to go home on his own. Harry McClary with all of his bone. And there it is. That's the end of the story. Bye. Stay tuned for more episodes.